we had a, uh, a better day today. I thought guys responded, you know, better intensity, uh, focus. You know, it's as I talked about yesterday. You know, it's uh, the great thing about football is it, it you know, mimics so many things in life, and you know, the human nature gets to show up. And you know, sometimes you have to fight yourself against that uh, uh, those instincts of what you'd like to do. Um, you know, I love you get an opportunity to have a bye week. You get a sense of, of where your team is and. Um, you know, the areas that you've got to continue to work and improve. And that is um, you know, yesterday. And, and uh, you know, going back and watching film, there are a lot of guys that did an outstanding job. Um, but then there are a handful of guys that, you know, were not at, at the intensity level, and, and I felt that on the field. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's a much smaller number than we've ever had here before. But you know, we still have to make the choice of, of what we're willing to give, what we're willing to invest. And, um, you know, I thought today we responded um, – and I thought we got some good work. We got good situational work. Um, still got you know, you know speed on speed with the ones versus ones. Um, and we're also able to get you know last two days we're able to get some of our players that haven't gotten as many game reps and maybe in practice reps we were able to kind of focus on them um, and you know help them continue in their development, which is big. You know that's something we do every Sunday, um, you know throughout the course of the season just to see those guys grow and get better. Um, and you know we've got some we've got some quality young guys. You know we've got. It's also an opportunity for guys that think they should be playing more to go prove it. And uh, you know, some guys are taking advantage of that, and some guys, you know, maybe not so much. But, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're working away at it. I'm excited about where we are. I think, uh, you know, it's going to be good to give, give these guys a, a couple more days off here this uh, here to wrap up the end of the week, and then we'll come back Sunday, uh, you know, back into our game, game week routine, and we got to go get better as a football team. So how intentional are you guys when it comes to figuring out you know, for us, it's you know who gets an opportunity to impact for us to win. And I mean, there's you know I don't I don't ever want to just get game experience for game experience if they're if somebody's not ready to, to help this team you know be successful. Um, you know, we're well, I'm definitely aware of every play that every you know young guy gets, and some sometimes um, you know it's limited in in the course of a game. Um, you know, there are times where I will hold somebody unless it's an absolute emergency with the thought process of, of um, you know, what's ahead and, and to be able to keep the opportunity for a red shirt. But, um, you know, as we'll look, with it, we'll get deeper into that here in the back stretch of some guys that you see that are, that are continuing to grow up that I think are putting themselves in a position to help us. And, um, you know, if, that, if, they, if they continue on that path, then, you know, they will we'll definitely capitalize on those games. You guys, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be like, I'm. This, we're not getting this for until like, what is it, next Tuesday, Monday? <laughs> I mean, we can ha end with one question. I'm be awesome. Um, you know, some of it was correction. Some of it was continued uh, conceptual understanding versus a variety of different looks. Um, so we, you know, I always want to continue with that, and it, it's you know, part of the reason we go go good on good. Um, you know, the things that the defense is working, you know, the offense is going to have to prepare for, whether that's in the game plan, um, you know, for that week, you know, and then you know, taking the times that we can get extra work. There's things that we do on Sundays too. Where we might just take a concept, whether it's a run concept, pass concept, and throw as many different looks of it at, as we can, so that if it shows up in the game, our guys can can go. Even if it's not a great call or a great situation based on what we expected, there's still a best answer to, to what should be able to, to be executed. And um, yes, we're just trying to get as many of those reps as we can as well. What do you guys do over the next few days? What's your message? Uh, the players, you know, we have, um, they've obviously got, you know, everybody that has in class, um, you know, uh, attendance will be required to be in class. You know, they have a, a good number of guys that are still, uh, you know, uh, have a balance of that in virtual in some of the virtual uh, classes. So, um, you know, some guys will get a chance to go home for a few more days. But um, you know, I'm sure a good majority of them will, will utilize the opportunity to get home, see their families. Um, you know, I always want to be be smart, be safe, um, making sure that uh, they're taking care of their bodies, utilizing the time that they have to uh, to kind of rest up. Um, you know, there's there's, a, there's probably probably a little under half will, will still be here in Tallahassee. You know, just uh, you throughout the weekend, but. Uh, just make sure that they're making great choices and uh, utilizing this time to prepare them to be as best the best they can be come next week. I know you've been able to do it a little bit here and there on the training trail, but how valuable is this weekend without a game? Get to do that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we've tried to take advantage of as many opportunities as we could, and uh, you know I've been on the road a few times already. Um, you know, and you know all 
be I'll be at games tonight till till Saturday night. So it's uh, you know, I'll be four straight just rolling trying to get out. Um, you know, it's there's been so many challenges when it comes to recruiting since I've since I've been head coach here. Just so many limited limited uh, you know opportunities. And so trying to take advantage of all of those. Our coaches will all be uh, you know, on the road and uh, uh, working through that. And, uh, and that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna we're gonna do. What, what kind of concept thing? It's evaluation period, so you know, we'll be able to go and see the co uh, see coaches and get a chance to visit with them. Um, you know, counselors at the school. You're trying to get all the the background information on, on each of these guys, but then uh, you know we'll hit a couple practices where I can go out and watch and evaluate a practice. We'll hit um, some games. So uh, just more than anything else, seeing the uh, the, the school personnel, and uh, but we can't have any contact with players. It looks like Malcolm was pretty active again today. I've been really pleased with Malcolm, and uh, you know there were. The last two weeks, he's played the most reps of his career. Um, you know, last week there were some times where you know, he got a little high on his pad level and, and got uh, um, you know some learning experiences. But then there were also you know, he, he had some productive plays. You're utilizing his, his speed and movements. Uh, Malcolm's talking to y'all today, huh? So he's look at him smiling over there. No, he's he's really done a nice job, and I'm excited about his future. You know, he's a guy that we challenged in the uh, uh, the off season, and uh, you know I think that he's just he's one of the guys. He's been steady. He's been steadily. Uh, um, you're working on his craft and uh, improving you know, each and every week. And when the opportunity presented itself, he was ready. And uh, you know, we need him to continue to grow and, and play at high level. How happy were you that the NCAA it looks like they're going to get some relief with the transfer? You know, yeah, I mean, I think uh, you know, I think the roster management, uh, you know, part of you know how, uh, of all the new things in college football. I mean, COVID obviously, um, you know, everybody getting extra year throws a, a different dynamic to it. Uh, the transfer portal and just the, the number of people that are that are going out and, and coming in, uh, you know, with, so with the possibility of getting seven more, um, you still got to operate in your 85, which, you know, when you look at COVID and everybody having that extra year, you know, really it was part of our thought process, you know, uh, I think we took a hand, I mean, uh, five guys uh, that were uh, grad transfers that we knew were going to be in their final year of eligibility regardless to know that we're going to have those spots for sure. But then there's always going to be the dynamics of, uh, you know, some guys graduating, some guys, you know, moving on. And uh, so, you know, we'll, to be able to have some of that relief, I think, is important. Hi, 